Do you think you are the one? Being the one is just like being in love. No one can tell you you're in love, you just know it. Do it through. I've been having these weird thoughts lately. Hallelujah. You're my savior, man. My own personal Jesus Christ. <laughs> You ever have that feeling where you're not sure if you're awake or still dreaming? scar on your chin happened when you were 10, you'll still wonder if it's ever going to fade away. How did it be? <laughs> Not it. Abraham Sapien. Abraham Sapien. Discovered alive in a secret chamber of St. Trillian's Foundling Hospital, Washington. His name was taken from this little inscription stuck to the side of his tank. Ictio Sapiens, April 14, 64. The day that Abraham Lincoln died. Hence, Abe Sapien. He knows so much about me. He possesses a unique frontal lobe. <laughs> unique. That's a word you'll hear frequently around here. As you can see, we've had our eye on you for some time now, Mr. Anderson. It seems that you've been living two lives. Two lives. In one life, you're Thomas A. Anderson, program writer for a respectable software company. You have a social security number, you pay your taxes.
One of these lives has a future. Marvin does not. Do you believe that my being stronger or faster has anything to do with my muscles in this place? You think that's air you're breathing now? I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to free your mind, Neil. But I can only show you the door. 
You're the one that has to walk through it. You have to let it all go, Neil. Fear, doubt, and disbelief. Free your mind. You think that's air you're breathing in? Free your mind. Why? People are afraid of what they don't understand. Is she right? Did God do this to me? Tell me! You're the answer, son. You're the answer to are we alone in the universe. I don't want to be. And I don't blame you, son. It'd be a huge burden for anyone to bear. But you're not just anyone, Clark, and I have to believe that you were... that you were sent here for a reason.
Wasn't it time you unwrapped your present? Oh, I think so. And peace. Yes, coming right up. Uh, where to? You look like you're having a worse day than I am. Why are you looking at me like that? Do you want one? Uh, no, thank you. Uh, I need the destination of your ticket, and I'm afraid I need you to extinguish that cigarette. Didn't I say? That's why I need this. It calms my vastly overheating brain. Make on heights. Make on heights? That's right, make on heights. Um, there's no such station. Check the computer. Uh, I've worked here over 20 years, madam. M-A-C-O-N Heights. Uh, what train were you considering getting? Uh, do you know the time? 519. I can also take the 119 or the 919. Oh, well, there you go. That's the Alton train, you see. Stops at Brookwood, Ashvale, Aldershot, Farnham, Bentley, and then, oh, there's no make on Heights, I'm afraid. Sit down. I just want to buy a ticket. Why do I feel like I'm being interviewed by Special Branch? Ed says you take the Alton train. That's correct. The 919 train to The 919 or the 1319 or the 1719. But mostly the 919. How long is the trip? Um, how long does it take? 28 minutes, precisely. It's supposed to. Though it's recently become less reliable. What sort of place is Macon Heights? How many live there? 5,000. I don't know. And does it have a large employer? A brewery, or a power station, a call centre? No, nothing big like that. I work accounts at Bradshaw Insurance. What's the problem? This is a map I'll make on the I'll show you in particular Farnham and then Bentley. Do you notice there are no stops in between? Everybody singing la 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 la. Uh -uh. 